we are back with more Final Fantasy X-2. When we last left off, we uh, went to the Meehan High Road where the Machina was going crazy. And uh, we had to race against the Albed to try to stop the, uh, stop the Machina from going, uh, going against the uh, attacking innocent civilians. So now the next few areas are going by really, really quickly because there's not much to do in them. I wonder why I'm walking away to remote. Let's get to the bottom of this. So, uh, I get, uh, we will do that. When you think about it, this airship can malfunction too. Yeah, which wouldn't be good. But we're going to get going to uh, a lot of quick areas, a lot of areas right now, and it's going to go by very, very really quick. So, first one's Mushroom Rock Road. I know it's a hot spot, but we're going to head at it now. Seems like people think the gold wings are with the league. We're getting this dress call. Should we answer it? Sure. Let's go see what's up. So let's go, uh, talk to, uh, them, and, uh, see what's up. Gullwings here. Where are the fiends? Inside, I would imagine. No need for concern, Lady Yuna. Everything's under control. Uh, okay, I didn't want you to call us. close to our headquarters, but thankfully no further. The Albed from Jose assisted us in fighting them off. Okay. So, Gibble was here? Yeah. Yes, his group also brought us these Machina. You know, he said something which still strikes me as sort of odd. Well, Gip was odd anyway. He told us not to depend on you so much, Lady Yuna. Me? He said we need to rely on our own strength to defend Spira through the coming years. Yeah, because Yuna's not going to be there forever. Lady Yuna, if I may interrupt, there is something I would like to ask you. Sure. Alright. Now... As you are probably aware, we have not heard from Maven Nuge, our leader, in some way. Yeah, we, we figured he disappeared. Lady Yuna, have you no information as to his whereabouts? Nope, we don't. I'm sorry, but we don't know any more than you do. That's too bad. I see. If we see him, we'll tell him to return here. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. And, uh... Hell, go we what do you think for fortifications? Gipple's a pretty cool guy, isn't he? And, uh... The Fiends attacked the Maven Disappearance. The Youth League would not last long under such strain. And guess what? That's it for Mushroom Rock Road for Chapter 3. You can't advance. You can't go in there. So Mushroom Rock Road's already finished. <laughs> uh, I told you something. A lot of the next few areas are going to go by very quick. Let's uh, go to the next area. Lucy must have it rough. Her troops will have short extension spans and... Don't depend on Yuna or Luge, that's what Gipple was really trying to say. Okay, so next, guess what, uh, guess what next there will be, uh, Jose Temple. Looks like they've got fiend problems too, but the mean sh machine faction doesn't want our help. What's their problem anyway? And while we're here, I guess we'll go ahead and take care of the, uh... I need to go back and take care of the, uh... Uh, ma uh, marriage and the uh, publicity campaigns at me here on High Road, and I'll do that off screen. Alright. Okay, we can't do any of them. We can't do it in Jose Temple at all in Chapter 3. I just looked at it. No nobody's available in Chapter 3, so I guess we can't really do it right now. Let's see. So, who, what we need to do here? Let's go talk to Gipple. Little girl. <laughs> she has a name. We have a name. <laughs> you seem close. Yeah. We made quite the couple. Oh. Y'all were a couple? Can you know we try? <laughs> Riku's always good for a lab. Uh, so Gipple and Riku are apparently a couple. This isn't the best time. Well, there were fiends here too, right? Want us to clean up for ya? Fiend hunting? What? You guys give up the sphere gig? Temporarily. Right now, we're helping people out. That's a good call. Maybe you'd like to hire us? Nope. Yeah, because I think depend on this. You already took care of Sin. We can't go running to you every time we get into trouble. Yeah, I mean. Hmm, I watch my own back. I guess uh, that's cool. I mean, that's cool, Gepple. I mean, I, that's why a leader of a faction. 
You too. Right. Come on. So. Okay. So yeah, guess what, guys? And we get an Albed Primer 15. And guess what, guys? That's it for Jose Temple. Now, I told you most of uh, some of these errors are going to fly by really quick. Sorry, I'm writing something down real quick. I keep notes so I can keep myself occupied and, so, I mean, and just straightened up. Okay, well, that's it for Jose. Look at me, Uni. Look what happened between me and the Gipple. Got it? Uh huh. I'm sure. Riku's on the defensive. Now we know something's up. Uh huh. Alright, so let's see what we got here. Next area will be the Moonflower. Toby's Big Show is underway. Wanna go check it out? Sure. We're gonna check out Toby's show that we uh, took care of so much. But while we're here, we can take care of this. Uh, This, uh, little bit of the campaign and stuff. That's, it, okay, so hers is five. And for matchmaking, it's two. There we go. Totally so will be right over here. Uh, it looks kind of boring. There's musicians from the, uh... From the, uh... Forest. And they're just... This is kind of boring. Alright. Let's go take care of this publicity campaign and stuff like that while we're here. I think the next one is right in here somewhere. Alright, so we're getting a couple battles here, but like I said, some of this is going to go by really quickly right now because there's not much to do in some of these areas. Alright, so these little, uh. These. That big enemy's got some HP to it. Come on. There we go. Now we got the big one out of the way. Now we got these little ones. Which don't let they have hardly any HP whatsoever. Because Riku killed it as a one hit killed it as Lady Luck. Alright. Alright, so let's continue looking around for this Albed woman. I think she's around here somewhere. Because the next area we're going to go to is uh, on the way anyway, so we're just going to go ahead and just take care of that and walk, uh, walk into the next area. Ugh. <laughs> Rick just throws a card at it. A card at him and he just goes plop. Plop. Alright. She may not be out here, so we're going ahead and go back to uh, the moon flow and finish up. Alright. But luckily with, uh, with the uh, Dark Knight, breaks through a lot of defenses anyway, so it's not really going to matter. Alright, so let's head back toward uh, Mo uh, Moonflow and talk to Tobley real quick and finish up uh, the Moonflow, get the uh, campaigns out of the way, and then we'll head off to our next area. Ooh! Probably the toughest enemy on this, in this area. Even then, it's really not that hard. All right, all right. Come on. Leave me alone here for a minute. Double armor break, which is always good. All 
Stop it. He's about to throw fireballs at us. Fireballs? Yum! Yeah. I love that reference. Fireballs? Yum! <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you know I'm an 80s, 90s kid. When, it, <laughs> when I bring that up. Fireballs? Yum! Another one of these? Okay, we're not going to stick around this. We're not going to stick around this time because we got to, uh... Oh no, Riku's about to level up, so... We can get to another level up, that would be cool. Alright, so let's head back to the, the moon flow. Alright, we'll just destroy these real quick. These shouldn't take whatsoever. Let's get the little ones out of the way because... One hit kills. That way we don't have to worry about one enemy instead of three. Alright, here we go. Come on, give me a good gamble in here. That was... Okay. Two cherries. Why do you keep missing, Pain? Clean Slate kind of like Mega Litsa with re Mega Remedy. Cures and cleans everything. There we go. I was like, why do you keep missing, Pain? I find it mildly, mildly, mildly ironic that Pain is wearing a dress sphere that causes a lot of pain. It's like emo inside of an emo. Alright, let's talk to Tobley here. This won't do. It won't do at all. We finally put it on in the show, of course. And it's not. But there's no passion, no climax. No, 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 no. Oh, shut up. This isn't good. Some people seem to enjoy it. See, some of them like banging their heads like mosh bitten and stuff, but. Uh. Alright, so let's head this way. Take care of the, uh... Oh, I've already... Took care of her, yep. So the next area we're gonna go to, or the next one we're gonna go to is right up in here. There's a boy, a little boy right here looking at the shoe puff. For his complicity campaign, it is number five. Now we're gonna go to the other side. Ride the shoe puff. Sure. All aboard! Oh, ride the shoe puff. Alright. Yeah, so chapter 3 is going to go by pretty quick because we, uh, a lot of the areas are really short like this. Alright, so for her, it's, uh, 5 and 4. Now we're going to head off to, uh, um, the next couple of screens, finish up the moon flow and head to our next area, which is Guada Salam. Didn't really much to do in Guada Salam either, but we're going to head and at least get started on it. We're not going to be able to finish it this video because we've already hit three areas up already. But we do uh, Guada Salam is a little bit longer, but we can hit up uh, we can hit it up some of it this this video. Oh my God! What in the world is this? What time? Showtime. Oh. Never seen this enemy before. Ever. How much HP does this thing have? Holy hell. Alright, it's not too bad. That's nice little bit of it, it, uh, HP to it. It's got 4700, so it's not going to be too bad. Learn Kiraga! Hooray! The immune to armor break. We learned two dice. Now, I'm gonna show you two dice. Two dice is kind of interesting.
basically she grab she, she uh gets two dice out of nowhere throws it up in the air whatever number it lands on it does a hundred uh, almost a hundred damage per hit <laughs> that's a cool little thing and if you don't get doubles you can double the attack so instead of hitting, if you roll like a six and that's a double like three three you get 12 hits if you roll like a 12 you can get 24 hits then just imagine all right so let's let see what Yuna and Riku are learning now she's learning regen cool and Riku is now learning four dice <laughs> yeah you've heard that you heard that correctly now the last one to talk, the last person to talk to for Makalania, I mean, I mean, uh, Jose, is, or Moonflow, is right here. It's one, and five. Alright, so now let's head into the next area. Oh, God. I don't want to fight you again, so goodbye. Alright. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so our next era will be Guadalajara. So at least we can get started on it a little bit. So we'll go ahead and at least get do the uh, matchmaking and the uh, publicity campaigns. So uh, first one would be right. We head on right up in here. Talk to the uh, Hypello. The Hypello Shop Off. And then the is three. The innkeeper's in the same area as always, so we'll just head down to the inn. Which is uh, this one? Yeah. For him, it's uh, Luckily, there's no matchmaking in this area. They're all, they're all males that we talk to, so. The next one is way up here. Go into the item shop. The shopkeeper is, uh. Two. And for him, it's, uh. Four. And then the last one to talk to is a, there's a boy in purple to talk to. Which I believe he is way over here. Yeah. Guess not. Where are you at, boy in purple? Guess he's down here. Ja. Ja. Uh, yeah, we know. But it's looking for this boy. There he is. <laughs> Little boy right there, and then for him, it's one. That's it for that, so let's head on into, uh... Chateau Leblanc. So we're going to head over here into this main room right here. We're going to talk to Logos and Ormi. So now we can enter the chateau anytime we want because, you know, we're now teaming up with Logos. There's nothing to worry about. I guess they're practicing. Good. Not even close. Let's see you do it then. <coughs> practicing for what? Sorry. I, uh, kind of dropped a mic there. Ugh, that's up. What are you doing? <laughs> what are y'all doing? I've been rather depressed since Nuge went missing. Uh-huh. We want to comfort her, see? Oh, was that supposed to be Nuge? That bad, was it? <laughs> Didn't sound that Nuge at all. Even if you did sound like Nuge, do you think it would actually help? It could, I guess. It would. 
Whatever you say. All right, so now let's... Maybe we can try to com comfort LeBlanc. So let's go up to Le LeBlanc and see if we can go talk to ourselves. Boom, 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 boom. Maybe the threat of a little competition might, would help bring the boss's fight back? Yeah, maybe. Let's go talk to her ourselves and see. Alright, LeBlanc. Let's see what you have to say now. Leave me alone. Yeah, okay. Don't you want to hunt some spheres? Not really. The gullings are gonna get all the spears and spear, you know. Fine by me. Damn. There's no point in chasing after spheres if my Muji Wooji isn't there to smile. She is depressed, shit. What difference does it make? You're a mess. Yeah, she really is. Say whatever you want. Wow. And Rikers is not even looking at her. And now he just Leave me alone. Yeah, so we can't even comfort her. So let's go back down there and go talk to Log Logos and Ormy and tell her that we couldn't even do it, so. Let's see what we have here. Let's all talk to the uh, people in here. Logos and Ormy. We couldn't even tell them that we couldn't even do it. What if we showed her a sphere of Nooch? That could help. Why ask us? Go for it. Of course, that sphere. Maybe that would cheer her up. We took one in Bavel. Care to watch it? What's on it? We haven't looked yet. Meet us in our room. We'll have a little screaming. All right. So there's a sphere that they apparently picked up in Bavel. We're going to go uh, screen them. Well, the doors are open. Maybe I'll just let the place air out. Okay, so we're going to head on down here, but we're going to end it here at the save point because there's still quite a few more things that you can do in a Guadal Slum, and I don't want this video to run too long, so when we get to the save point, we'll uh, call it a video. Okay, guys. So we're going to end it here. When we come back, we're going to further explore the Shacto and go check out that sphere, see what's on it, and continue on to the next few areas, which are, like, so the areas right now can go by pretty quick. There's really not too many... I mean, as, as you get toward the end of it, it starts getting longer, but he's right here in these little middle parts right here. It's going by very, very quick. But, uh, y'all have a good day. I'll see y'all next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy X-2. This is DKS3A, the Crazy Gamer, signing out.